Bug out bag. So what is a bug out bag, Bob? It is a bag with items in it that will allow you to survive for 72 hours if any disaster should strike. The focus of this bag is on evacuation, rather than long-term survival. The term, bug out bag, is related or it was derived from the bail out bag each military aviators carry with them. The bag's content may vary according to region or user. Before getting to the list of items that you need to put in your bag, let's look at when to bug out or when not to bug out. Remember one thing, in whatever situation you find yourself in, that situation will be totally unpredictable. So it is impossible to assume that you can bug in or bug out ahead of time. Ultimately it is best to prepare for both. Bugging in. If it's too dangerous to travel or if you are well prepared for whatever emergency, that is when you bug in. If you are bugging in you are ready to hunker down and ride it out. Bugging in is going to be the best course of action in most situations. Don't get me wrong here and think, well why must I have a bug out bag, if I'm staying at home? Remember, the situation can change at any moment. So to have a bug out bag ready will make it easier to leave when the time arrives. Here is a few bug in scenarios, 1. Economic collapse 2. Viral outbreak 3. Chemical or biological attack 4. Nuclear disaster 5. Civil unrest 6. Natural disaster This should be common sense, but I'll mention it anyway. If you don't have a safe place to go bug out to, or your safe spot has been compromised, stay put. Unless your current location is in danger or your supplies are gone, you're better off bugging in than wandering around aimlessly. Bugging out. Bugging out is when you leave the area when disaster has struck or the area is unsafe. If you are going to bug out, you must be prepared to leave everything you own behind. You might not see it ever again. In truth, the bug out might be temporary due to a short-term disaster. I on the other hand think of bugging out as a more permanent solution. I believe that I'm never coming back, so in that case I will take everything with me that I will need to survive with, even in the worst case scenario. So if you're thinking of bugging out, you need to have a predetermined bug out location where you can go to, that is far from dense population, which is secured and has a lot of natural resources. Like for instance, your necessities in this area can be renewed by hunting, fishing, foraging and growing. So plan a good area where you can go to, because remember that this place where you're going to, will be your new permanent location. So let's look at what items you're going to need. Choosing the correct bag. Choosing the right backpack for your bob can be confusing, so here are some suggestions to help you. You will want to choose a bag that is big enough to carry 72 hours worth of survival supplies. We have found that a 50L cubic inch backpack works best as it provides ample room for supplies. If you get one that is larger, you may be inclined to fill up all that extra space, which will result in a bag that is too heavy to carry. We also recommend a backpack that is equipped with a Molly modular lightweight load carrying equipment system for carrying tools and pouches on the exterior of the pack. This will increase your pack's capacity and allows for easier access to items you'll need the most. The pouches are detachable so that you can carry lighter loads when needed. What do we put in our bags? There are six basic survival categories to focus on when packing your bug out bag. Always remember when preparing for an emergency redundancy is important. Prepper rule, one is none and two is one. So let's look at the six categories. Here are the six basic survival needs that should be met by the contents of a bug out bag. One, water and water filtration two. Food three, shelter four, fire making five, first aid and hygiene six, security. There are so many products out there that can meet these six essential requirements that it can be overwhelming and expensive to decide what to pack in a bug out bag. My advice is to take it slow and acquire your gear over time. You may feel impending doom is right around the corner, but you've made it this far without a bug out bag. Chances are you'll be okay until you can gather all the essentials. So take your time and choose wisely. Remember the survival rule of three. You can survive three days without water. You can survive three weeks without food and three hours exposed to extreme weather conditions. Let's take a closer look at what to put in your bug out bag. 1. Water and water filtration. This is probably the most critical component of your bob. You should plan to carry about 3 liters of fresh water. Carry those 2 liters in two 1 liter bottles so that when one is empty, you can fill it up at the next water source. For filtration you can carry a life straw, which is basically a straw with a built-in filter, or water purification tablets. A container for boiling water is another must-have. Not only can it be used to prepare water to drink, it also can be used to boil water for stew, if you catch fish or kill game, tea or coffee. 2. Food. MREs, meals ready to eat, are very popular right now, but be sure to get ones that require little to no preparation. They can be a little pricey, so if you're watching your budget, you should consider other ready to eat foods that keeps well such as protein bars, granola bars, nuts or dehydrated foods. 
Your body will need plenty of calories during an emergency situation, so this is not the time to worry about your low-carb diet. Remember that your food and water in your bag can go off, so rotate it every six months. Try to choose food items that don't need to be cooked or heated. This will make preparation much easier and could be the difference between life and death during an emergency. 3. Shelter. Tents provide great shelter but are very heavy and take up a lot of space. Instead, carry a few emergency thermal blankets and some paracord. You can put one blanket on the ground and use the other one for warmth or for the roof of a makeshift shelter. Nylon camping tarp, 8 foot x 10 foot, is also ideal, especially in wet environments. You can find less expensive construction tarps at home improvement stores, but they are not very well made and are heavy. 4. Fire making. The ability to build a fire is must for any bug out situation. From boiling water to proving warmth, a campfire is an absolute necessity to survival. There is also something about a fire that adds comfort to any campsite, and comfort is something you're going to want in an emergency situation. There are two aspects to getting a fire going, flame and kindling. Flame. Flint strikers are very popular and should be carried as backup, but standard store-bought lighters are your best bet for starting a fire. They are small and light, so you can easily throw two or three of them in your bag. You should also carry windproof matches in a waterproof container and a magnesium flint striker. Kindling. Dry lint makes wonderful kindling and will really get your fire going. Put a Ziploc bag full of it in the bob. Also, your bug out bag should not be without wet fire tinders, technically these are not kindling, but they do a great job of getting a fire going. Wet fire tinders are flammable cubes that, once lit, will burn under extremely wet conditions. They are cheap, compact and work extremely well in any weather condition. The best is to have fire discs in your fire kit. First aid and hygiene. Chances are you'll be using this bug out bag only in situations where you are facing grave danger. That means that there's also a good chance that you or someone you meet along the way might be hurt. Get a small first aid kit from your corner drug store to clean cuts and scratches, heal minor injuries and prevent serious infection. You will also want some pain relievers, aspirin, on hand. And don't forget to pack a small toothbrush and toothpaste kit as well. Security. The best choice for staying safe would be a handgun and plenty of ammo. Make sure you are fully trained and know how to use any firearms before packing them away in your bug out bag. The time to learn how to shoot a handgun is not during an emergency situation. If a handgun is not for you, pepper spray is a good alternative. We recommend the kind that shoots a stream rather than a cloud, which can blow back into your eyes. A good survival knife can act as a great weapon as well, but keep this for a last resort. Unless you are trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat, trying to fight with a knife could turn out to be extremely dangerous. Now that we have an idea of what to pack from the above tips, we can now look at a more detailed list of what items to pack. Just remember that these items is for one person only. Water and water filtration. 1. Drinking water 3 liters, separate containers, 2. 132 ounces, wide mouth hard plastic bottle 3. 1 bottle with integral filter 4. 1 collapsible soft bottle 5. Straw water filter 6. Water purification tablets. Food. 1. MREs 2. Beef jerky 3. Granola bars, energy bars, instant oatmeal and nuts 4. Soft tuna packs 5. Metal camping cup. Shelter. 1. Myla Survival Blanket 2. Foam Sleeping Pad 3. 8 foot x 10 foot nylon camping tarp. Fire Making. 1. Butane Lighters 2 2. Dry Lint, great for kindling 3. Fire Striking Rod 4. Storm Proof Matches in Waterproof Case 5. Wet Fire Starting Tinder 6. Fire Discs. First Aid and Hygiene. 1. Well Stocked First Aid Kit to Treat Cuts, Blister, Rash, Fever and Burns at a Minimum. 2. Toilet paper 3. Medication and or eyewear. Tools. 1. Survival knife, full tang, single edge, 7 inch to 11 inch 2. Multi-tool 3. Machete. Security. 1. Firearm and ammo 2. Pepper spray. Lighting. 1. LED headlamp 2. LED compact waterproof flashlight with backup batteries 3. 1 9 hour candle. Additional items. 1. Emergency hand crank NOAA, AM, FM radio, flashlight 2. Bug spray 3. Cash, maps and compass 4. Small pad and paper 5. Duct tape, wrap one of your items with 10 feet 6. Multiple Ziploc bags 7. One large contractor grade garbage bag 8. One bandana 9. Hard plastic or metal spork 10. Paracord 100, military spec 550 11. Emergency fishing kit 12. Emergency sewing kit 13. Folding shovel. Suggestions and reminders. You may have many items in your home already. 
Modify the list according to your own specific needs. Place your supplies in an easy-to-carry bag or backpack. You can pick up inexpensive, quality packs from military surplus shops or higher quality packs from camping stores. Pick a bag that is both comfortable and sturdy. A pack with a waist belt offers great lower back support. Filled circles store your B.O.B. in a convenient place known to all family members and keep another in your car. Filled circle rotate your stored food and water supply and batteries every six months to ensure freshness. Filled circle re-evaluate your B.O.B. regularly and update clothing or supplies seasonally. Filled circle ask your physician about storing prescription medication as it may do more harm than good if expired. Filled circle have a phone tree to make sure your family and friends are accounted for in an emergency. Filled circle come up with contingency plans. For instance, know how and when it is necessary to shut off gas and electricity. Don't forget about your pets. Filled circle have an evacuation plan with your family or team in case you become separated during an outbreak. Pick a safe meeting place that works for everyone. Filled circle learn skills like first aid and CPR, which may be useful in an emergency. Hone these skills so you're comfortable using them in a crisis situation. The best tip I can give you is to go on a 72-hour hike or camp and see if your bug out bag is working for you. Whatever you don't use, take it out, you don't need it. See then what you needed in that 72 hours and replace the gear you take out with gear that you will use. It comes down to practice, practice and more practice. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates on new videos. Help us by leaving a comment to tell us what you would like to see and experience. Help us to grow the channel for your viewing pleasure. Please return to see if we made what you asked for in the comments. We're not making videos for us, but for you the YouTubers. So please help us by sharing our videos with family and friends. Thanks for watching.